Hello, lovely sim racers. I'm Konstantinos, and this is Lovely Sim Racing, and this video is finally being made. I have promised this video for, I don't know, maybe 10, 10 years now, which is a lie, but you know what I mean. Um, so uh, this video is about DDU units. One of the most common questions I get, either it's on my live stream, either it's in my Discord, DMs, Instagram, everyone who asks me this question, I always respond the same way. So the question is, what DDU unit do you prefer or do I recommend? My answer is always... Full disclaimer, the DDU units you will be looking at today are all sent to me. I have not purchased any of these. Uh, some of them I have affiliates with. Links are in the description for all of them. And some of them are just, uh, you know, uh, people have sent them so I can look at them, so I can do an unboxing on stream, which I have done. So if you go back to my channel, you will find plenty of these unboxings on my DDU unboxing playlist. All the LED profiles you see in this video on all the DDU units are made by Daniel Newman Racing. So there's a link in the description. Go follow it if you're looking for LED profiles for your steering wheel or your DDU unit. That is the place you need to go to and download and also support him as well. His work is exceptional. Some of the DDU units you will see in this video didn't have the LEDs working, but that's only because I failed to connect them correctly in SimHub and I didn't have time to um, troubleshoot it. So for those that didn't work, it's just my laziness, I guess, and not having the time to uh, set them up properly. So... Which DDUs do I have? I already mentioned I have seven DDUs, ranging for the really, really affordable ones to expensive ones. And we're starting with the affordable and going up. The first DDU unit we'll be looking at, it is the 3D Sim Gear Race Dash. This is the only 4.3 inch dashboard we'll be looking at. Um, this is a Volcor screen. Um, it does have LEDs, uh, four on each side, 13 across the top. It is 3D printed. It has a really nice finish. It seems more as if it's a, it doesn't, it doesn't look so much as a, as a 3D print. You can look uh, around the sides and the edges on the back that it does have some markings of the bed of the 3D printer, but I'm assuming they're processing it in some way. So it makes it look more like a, a plastic or a CNC item. It looks really nice. Um, but this is this is what you'd you'd expect to get. Um, it is very light. It has a USB-C connectivity, which controls both uh, the LEDs and the screen, but it lacks a switch. So if you have this mounted and you want to turn it off or restart it, you have to pull it out of the plug and back in. This one comes at 160 euros. I can see that it's on a sale at this point in time. Again, you have to factor in all the shipping and uh, import taxes and everything. Next up, we have the PSR, the Printed Sim Racing GT 5.0 Elite Pro Dashboard. Again, this is once more a 3D printed dashboard. This is a 5-inch screen, but it has also the curved top. So this is a special version. You can also get this in a square, but they sent me the curved because uh, I basically created a version of the Lovey dashboard for this screen. And this is how I have it in my uh, possession. This is a 3D printed and this you can tell it's a 3D printed uh, item. It has all the markings and everything. It is way heavier than the previous one, um, but it only is heavier, I'm assuming, because it has some really powerful magnets on the rear on how you mount this. Um, this comes with uh, a switch, which is very important in my in, in my perspective. I think this is one of the most important things on a DDU unit. So you have a little switch here, goes up and down. You can turn it on and off. And this also has a very unique approach to connectivity. So it is connected USB-C, but it has two ports. One port is facing upwards and the other one is facing downwards. So depending on how you mount this, you can put your USB facing this way or facing that way. And depending on which port you select, the switch works the opposite. And then it comes by default with this 3D printed mount, which is magnetic. And you can either put it this way. I was loud and all. It's, they're very strong magnets, don't get me wrong here, right? And then you can also put it the other way around. If you get this without a mount, it's 190 euros. Again, including shipping and taxes and import duties, depending on where you are. There is a sale on this as well, coming down from 250 euros. So current sale price is 190, 189 specifically. 
uh, if you include a mount, which you may or may not want to do that. So if you put a mount in, it goes 10 euros up. So you're at 199 at this point. It is, you can tell it's a 3D printed item. It is far heavier and it feels a bit more robust than the previous one, the 3D Sim Gear. So this would definitely be a better uh, option. It's a bit more expensive, but it is, um, yeah, it is a bit more solid. Moving on to the next one, we now have the Sim Racing Addict DDU 10.5 Sim Racing Dash. As the previous two, this is also a Vocor screen. It has some LEDs all around. It's got a lot more LEDs, to be honest. It's got two, four, six, seven on either side and 14 across the top. This two comes at around 190 uh, British pounds, so it's a bit more expensive than the previous ones. You can make the conversions um, And of course shipping and handling is extra as always um, This also comes with a magnetic mount, uh, but it also has screws. This is the last of the 3d printed DDUs that I have in my possession this one is better than the previous ones because I don't know, it feels a lot better, and the quality of the print overall reminds me of carbon fiber, especially on the lip in the front, but on the sides, uh, you can literally see the, uh, the, the nozzle printing and everything, and even on the back side. It, it feels a lot well, it feels very well built. That is important to say for a 3D printed item. Uh, it's got little vents on the top, on the rear, and it also comes with a switch so you can turn it on and off. Again, I think having a switch on a DD unit is very important. What makes this different than the previous ones, it comes with Gorilla Glass. So it has a protective layer, but also makes it look and feel a bit more premium compared to the other models. Again, this is in the affordable range of DDUs. And again, this is a five inch Volcor screen. All right, let's move on to the first non-3D printed um, DDU unit. This is the Turn Racing TDU-5. This is not 3D printed. Uh, it's not aluminum. It is a composite material, but it looks and feels a lot like carbon fiber. It is rather light compared to what you get inside with all the mounts and everything. So this, as the other units, has a single USB connection. What I really love about the TDU-5, it has three mounting points and they are all compatible with tripod mounts. So if you have any of those small rig mounts or you have um, a RAM mount, it can directly bolt onto this. So it is very, very convenient the way you mount. This also has a little switch here for turning on and off. Again, very important. The only thing that makes this unit different than all the rest, actually this is the only one of all of my DDU units that does not have a Volcor screen. This screen is custom made by Turn Racing. Um, I've been told that this can go up to 60 frames per second. At least the technology behind it is over 60 frames per second. Unfortunately, I think um, uh, SimHub does not provide more than 30 frames per second, so I'm not entirely sure how you achieve that. I have not seen, um, visually seen with my eyes, any much difference in fluidity with this, uh, this screen or not. Um, but again, it's, it is a new technology, it's their own, and uh, you can see in the pictures as well that the colors are slightly different. They're not matching the rest of the Vocor series, so it is a unique product. So this one is made in the US. Um, by turn racing. Uh, there are three LEDs on either side and 14 across the top. This one comes at 212 uh, euros. Again, no shipping and handling included in the price. You need to take into account the conversion because I think these things ship from the US. So it's a bit different for Europe. You need to take that into account um, and make sure that when you're purchasing it, you have reviewed uh, where it's shipping from. That goes for all of the units as well, not just this one. Moving on from the 3D printed and composite material DDUs, we're going to the aluminum. And the first one we're going to look at, so this is the SimDash Cosworth style 5 inch Vocor display. Um, it's aluminum all around. This one also ha comes with a little switch to turn it on and off, a single uh, USB C and mounts to fit it on any uh, uh, mount you need to fit it on. Um, it has four uh, LEDs on either side and eight across the top. It, again, the screen is a Vocor five-inch screen. It is really well built. The this is the only velvety uh, 
aluminum uh, DDU unit that I have. I don't know if you guys can see it in the pictures, but it really does have this velvet feeling. It's very smooth and very soft to it. It's, it's weird. It's aluminum. It is CNC, but it also is... It's got that nice, soft touch to it. Um, so this comes at 290 euros. Jamie does not have a website yet, so if you do want to purchase any of these or if you want to look at them, you have to go to his uh, Facebook page, SimDash. I'll put a link in the description, and you just contact him uh, via DMs. He did promise he's coming out with a website. I have not seen it yet. I have not followed up with him. But if you do want to purchase this, you will need to take into account shipping and handling. These ship from Portugal, and um, the only way to basically get in contact with him is uh, DMs through Facebook. All right, next up we have the Simutech SDU3. Again, this is an aluminum, uh, uh, aluminum CNC um, DDU unit. This is slightly higher. Again, prices are really close at this point. Uh, this also goes for 290, but British pounds, so it might be just a bit slight, slightly more expensive than the SimDash. Um, this DDU unit comes with uh, a whole bunch of LEDs, as you can see. So you got your three, you got 14 on top, and you have also these um, extra three on either lower side. All of these are controlled through SimHub, obviously. This also has a single USB connection in the back and two simple mountain mounting holes. And of course, it's got these little uh, nice vents on the back. For its price point, is lacking one important thing. It does not have a switch. Again, everything is aluminum, really nice, really, really extremely well built. The Gorilla glasses perfectly fit. It's got its own heft and it's really nice. Um, so yeah, overall, this is what you'd expect to get at that price point. And finally, we're moving on to the high-end DDUs. So the last DDU that I have to show is the Asher Racing Dashboard. This is the five inch Vocor display. Uh, it's got three and 15 on top and three on the other side. Um, this is, I have to say, this is the most well-built DDU unit that I have. Of course, this is a high-end model. So this costs 430 euros. You again need to um, add shipping and handling and taxes and uh, customs and whatever you may need. But this basically has everything that you need. Um, it is a five inch Vocor. Um, it's got all the LEDs. It's got a single USB-C uh, output, all it's mounting. And it also has a switch on the back, which for me, again, it is very important. Now this, again, I will hand it to them. This is the most well built screen DDU unit that I have in my possession um, across all of them, all seven. It doesn't have a Gorilla Glass flat on top, but again, this design isn't made to mimic anything else. It is unique. In fact, one of the things that Martin told me when uh, we were discussing the DDU unit and the uh, Asher Racing Artura Ultimate was this specific DDU unit. It was the product they created as a bridge to creating the Artura Ultimate steering wheel. He challenged himself to make the screen as thin as possible, and that's why it's only 18 millimeters, in order to prepare the electronics to go into the steering wheel, which again is rather thin and um, not too bulky for what it does. It is not the most heavy of all of the ones that I have, but it is the most well-built version of it. And that wraps up reviewing and looking at all seven DDU units. What I wanted to do with this video is show you going from a very affordable DDU all the way to a very expensive one, what you get. So either you pay 160 euros or 430 for the Ash Racing, the technology, the screen you're getting is pretty much the exact same thing. The price point, what you want to pay for a DDU unit has a lot to do with the aesthetics, what it looks like, what it feels like, if you mind it being 3D printed and plasticky and very light, or do you want it to be hefty and really well built and thin? At the end of the day, what you're getting is a screen that will display SimHub information. Everything, all of these are connected to SimHub and the telemetry you're getting will be the same. Obviously, Using a dashboard like Love Dashboard, you can have the same exact information across all of these. What you need to decide 
before you buy, what are your needs? For me, personally, colors are important, brightness is important, the LEDs are important. You will be seeing the same thing. You will be looking at the same information and it will just make up the rest of the aesthetics of your rig. So I don't know if this, if this actually helps a lot or not. Um, I really do hope it will answer the question, what do I recommend? Hey guys, Future Constantinos here. As you can see, I'm not anywhere near my rig, but I have been editing the video for the past couple of days and I realized that I haven't really expressed my preference for the seven dashboards that I have shown you um, in this video. So here it is, starting off from the bottom, 3D SIM gear. It is a dashboard that is really well placed, really well built for a 3D printed device. I like the treatment on it, but it is, it is something that I would pay less for, but otherwise it's not a bad device. In sixth place, I would definitely have the printed sim racing dashboard. It's really well built, it's, it's 3D printed, you can tell, but it is a really nice dashboard. Value for money, I think P6 would be the perfect place for it. P5, Turn Racing TDU5. The only reason I'm putting it so low is because of the custom screen. I'm not a really big fan of that custom screen. It is very low and the colors are not coming out as vivid as I would want them to. P4, Sim Racing Attic. Definitely, definitely P4 for that one. It is a very nice screen. For a 3D printed dashboard, it is really well built. I really love the LEDs and I also really love the Gorilla Glass on it. P3. You might be surprised, but P3 is home to the Asher Racing dashboard. The only reason I put it there is because it is expensive. Although it is the most well-built dashboard of the seven, I just find it a bit too expensive for a DDU. P2 goes to Simutech. The only reason it goes in P2 is because it lacks a switch. If it had a switch on the back, it would be in P1 alongside SimDash. And goes without saying, P1 goes to SimDash. It is my favorite of all the dashboards. It's got a really amazing satin finish to it. It's got a switch. It's got amazing vibrant screen. And that is my list of the seven dashboards in my preference. Back to the video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing and uh, dropping a like on it. And also go to the description and view everything else that you may find that I create. I have links for the Lovey Dashboard and all the other stuff. And I also have recently opened a store for brand new merch, Lovely Sim Racing merch and sticker sheets. So please follow the links in the description. I appreciate all the support and I really hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you very much.